Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed introduction to React, like what is a React, what are the advantages of React, why should we learn the React. In this video, I want to discuss how to create a React application. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. For React, we need Node and a text editor of your choice. For the node, you can go for the node.js. If you does not have the node.js in your system, you can download it and install. You can download the latest version of the node.js. You can use the official website of node.js. If you does not know how to install the node.js, already I have discussed in one of my earlier videos. I request you to go back and watch that video. I will provide the link in the description. You can verify. For the text editor, you can use any text editor, but I am using the VS Code, which is Visual Studio Code. Again, you have to download the Visual Studio and install it. If it does not know how to install the Visual Studio, I will provide the link in the description. You can watch that video and install in your system. So, if you want to use the React, you need Node and a text editor. For Node, I am using the Node.js. For the text editor, I am using the VS code to create a new react application we will be making use of create react app so we have create react app which is a command line interface tool in this app you will use certain commands which will be useful for you to create a new react application so it is a command line interface tool that allows you to quickly create and run react application with no configuration means you simply run a command and create entire project of react in the desktop i will create a new folder I can give any name for that folder. Let me give the name of the folder as React. Any name you can give. And then go to the Visual Studio. Then go to the File, Open Folder. And then you can give the folder which you have created just now. I have created React, right? Let me give the... I will click on Select Folder. Now, I will go to the Terminal. If you want to go to the Terminal, you can see three dots are there. You need to click on the three dots. Then you have the Terminal and click on New Terminal. Then you can type the following command. npx create react app and then you can provide the project name. Let me provide the project name as hello world. It will install the certain packages. It will take certain time. So please be patient and wait for some time and all the packages will be installed and the application called hello world will be created. So we have successfully created a, a react application called hello world. Now it is giving certain commands for you. We suggest that you begin by typing cd hello world. What is cd? Change a directory. Once you go to the certain folder called hello world which is your project name then you need to type npm start to run your application. So first we need to go to the our hello world project folder. So to do that one, I will type the command called cd, which is a change directory. And then I will give the hello world, which is the name of the project. And then I will type npm start. This command will open the browser on a local host 3000 with your hello world application up and running. Now you can see our application is up and running. We are getting this output edit src app.js and save to reload. So what I need to do is that I need to go to the Visual Studio and in that one you have hello world. In the hello world you have the src folder. In the src folder you have app.js. Click on the app.js and then you can see here edit 
code src app.js code and save to reload now what i will do i will simply write hello welcome to pernica tutorials let me save this one now you can see we got the output as hello welcome to pernica tutorials so like this we can create a react application so for creating the react application we need a node and the text editor of our choice and also we need the create react app which is a command line interface we can create the react applications in two ways one way we have already discussed with the help of npx in another way is that we can use the npm let me discuss both the procedures in detail for you so the first way is that you can use the npx so you will use npx and then you will use create react app and then you will specify the project name npx is an npm package runner which gets installed when you install a node so in our system for the node we have used the node.js once you have installed the node.js the npx will be automatically installed so npx is an npm package runner which gets installed when you install the node and then you will specify the cd project name and then you will specify npm start so this is the first method to create the react application with the help of npx the second approach is using the npm in this approach we install the create react app package globally and then use the package to generate the projects so if you want to create a react application using npm procedure first we need to install the create react app package globally using that package we can generate the projects to install the create react app package globally you need to write npm install create react app then hyphen g you need to provide so you are installing the create react app package globally once it is installed you can use create react app followed by the project name to create the project so the command for creating the project is you need to provide create react app and then you need to specify the project name so these are the two ways you can create a react application one way is using npx and another way is using npm i personally prefer the npx approach to create the react application because in npm i need to install the create react app package globally and i need to worry about the updates of it so instead of installing the create react app package globally i can use the npx which is an npm package runner which gets installed when you install node right you no need to separately install the create react app package globally so that's why i personally prefer creating the react application using npx in this video i have discussed how to create the react application i hope you have understood all the concepts which i have discussed in this video if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day